Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting SpaceX update video. Today, I've got some mixed news to share, so let's dive right in. First, the not-so-great news. It appears that SpaceX's Starship second flight is facing some expected delays. Initial hopes for the second Starship flight later this month are dimming, and it's causing a bit of concern in SpaceX's Starship program. SpaceX has cited challenges in working with the FAA, noting the agency's understaffing and the regulatory hurdles slowing down progress on various programs, including Artemis. This concern is shared by many other companies in the commercial space industry, given the rapid growth of the sector. Now, it's important to emphasize that the FAA plays a vital role in ensuring the safety of space launches, but it's crucial for them to find more efficient ways to navigate these challenges and prioritize programs of national interest. Furthermore, it's been reported that the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's regulatory approval process for the second Starship test flight could extend all the way into spring 2024. For SpaceX, which has achieved 74 successful missions this year, this delay is undoubtedly frustrating. During a recent congressional hearing, Senator Ted Cruz spoke with William Gersten Mayer, SpaceX's vice president of Build and Flight Reliability, about these challenges. Gersten Mayer expressed his frustration with the delays, as SpaceX's hardware is ready to go, and he believes that the pace of test flights should not be governed solely by regulation. It's a shame when our hardware is ready to fly and we're not able to go fly because of regulations or re-review. The fact that we can get the launch pad repaired and get it ready to go fly support a flight, the fact that I can get a vehicle manufactured and ready to go fly, we have three or four other vehicles also ready to go fly. The pace of our test flight should not be governed by the regulation. We need to be safe, we need to protect the environment, we don't dismiss those, but we need to fly at the fastest pace that we can do hardware development to do this, this active development process and this test flight experience that we've described. Well, the again, discussion also that. touched on the readiness of the Human Landing System HLS, highlighting the need for faster development unburdened by slow regulatory processes. We'll lose our lead and, and we will see China land on the moon before we do. And that would be a shame if we did that only because of regulatory burden and we didn't do it because we were not technically ready to go achieve and innovate. So I think it's absolutely critical we get a regulatory framework that allows us to fly at the fastest flight rate that we can fly. It's a thought-provoking topic, do you think these schedule delays would occur if Starship were NASA's in-house rocket? Will strict regulations slow America's advancement in space innovation? Share your thoughts in the comments. Now, on to some positive news. SpaceX conducted a pre-burner test on Starship S26, indicating that they are gearing up for a static fire test very soon. While we don't have an exact date for the next flight, it's promising to see those Raptors breathing fire at the launch site. S26 wasn't the only one under the spotlight, Super Heavy Booster 11 went through another successful cryogenic test at Massey's, with the LOX tank fully loaded with liquid nitrogen and the methane tank partially filled. And speaking of success, SpaceX completed its 74th successful mission of the year on Tuesday night. The Starlink Group 6-23 mission added 22 more Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit. What's truly impressive is that the first stage booster, B-1062, launched and landed for the astonishing 16th time, which makes you wonder just how many flights these Falcon 9 boosters can handle. Currently certified for up to 20 flights, it might go even higher in the future. That wraps up this video. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more exciting updates in the next video.